what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have the finalized update on screen five production has officially been completed it is locked and ready to go as worded out in my thumbnail for this video today got some exciting things to talk about matt benelli matt benelli and tyler gillette along with brian tyler they went ahead and shared this news or basically confirmed this news on their social media pages the instagram to be specific and then the other outlets followed up with it with news reports coming out about it matt benelli he had posted this image here of what looks like i guess brian tyler has a score titled ghostface for the film and his caption reads picture is locked and we just finished scoring on the newman stage thank you so much to all the amazing artists who have worked so tirelessly on this movie so again brian tyler we know is the one scoring this film and i guess ghostface will have his own little type of music in this film i don't think ghostface has ever had his own type of or its own type of score to say in the previous installment so i'm looking forward to seeing what happens here with this music can't wait to hear some bits of this music because again brian tyler i think his scores for the previous films that i've seen from him including ready or not i think he does a great job adding that emotional weight to certain scenes in films and his scores just kind of fit certain aspects when they're trying to get into those more tense areas of a film or certain sequences going on in the film or more heartfelt moments in the film i think he's a good composer so this makes me very excited because we're so close to this movie finally and it's it's finished there's a lot of stuff we can look forward to now going forward as far as expecting our first poster expecting probably a more specific plot synopsis for this film and just getting to learn more things about it we know that we have those interviews to look forward to fangoria has something coming out next month that we're all expecting to have something related to scream in it so we'll be on the lookout for that as well but it's just really exciting to know that for a very long time it seemed that this would never happen but here we are screen five it's getting closer and closer as the days and hours and seconds and minutes pass we're almost there at the finish line to january 14th 2022 i'm still holding out hope that there is some type of thing like a screening or such that goes on that leads to positive reception coming out about this film early on and maybe there's early advanced screenings that take place in december so certain people can see the film early and ramp up the excitement even more can't wait to meet these new characters of course melissa barrera playing sam carpenter and her younger sister played by jenna ortega tara carpenter can't wait to meet the rest of the cast uh we have jack quay playing richie we have the niece and nephew of randy meeks that we're going to meet we know that martha meeks is expected to be back whether or not she'll actually be in the film though that's something that i want all of us to keep in mind there are certain things that couldn't be cut out of the film we know that she was present on set and that she definitely must have had a role recorded but her role could have been like essentially cut from the final product so just keep that in mind but the other thing we need to talk about was regarding what is coming up and when we might also now need to start expecting to see our first look at this film i am still holding out hope that we will get something before august because that's where this event is going to be taking place it's taking place in the month of august i'm going to hold out hope that we'll get something before that maybe like a little more descriptive plot synopsis maybe some new behind the scenes images from the film and also just maybe those new interviews from the directors matt and tyler and one of the producers that were also present with for those interviews can't wait to see those and hopefully learn more things about how excited they are about this project they've just worked so hard on and the thing that we need to talk about is regarding cinemacon now cinemacon is like one of the biggest exhibitions that involve like celebrating the theatrical experience and where all these major studios come together and they highlight their upcoming slate of films that they have for later this year next year and maybe a year or two in advance like 2023 even so eric davis who many of you might know from fandango and ron tomatoes he tweeted out about the schedule being released for cinemacon now the thing that's important here related to scream is that paramount and La paramount is going to have something at this con at this event at this convention and he said it's notable to point out that wb warner brothers presentation is three hours long disney and paramount are over two and a half hours long now we do not yet know what the runtime is of screen screen five but my hope is that I, and i know paramount has a lot of things coming up before i get to that though i just want to say that i went ahead and looked this up to see where they will be falling in place at 
they have a listing on the website for CinemaCon from 9.30 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. where it reads, Paramount Pictures invites you to an exclusive presentation highlighting its upcoming slate. 9.30 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. We don't know how long this movie is going to be. But with the, the, fact, the fact of the matter that we haven't had any reshoots, we've heard nothing but confidence on this film from the studio. Paramount seems to be pleased with it. The producers seem to be pleased with it. Those in the higher up positions that have their financial investment in this seem to be pleased with it. What if, because this goes on at CinemaCon. CinemaCon is also the event where they had that little screening or preview screening of showing that early scene from It Chapter 2 of Beverly getting attacked by the old lady, which we know, of course, was Pennywise. But they have done film screenings at these CinemaCon events in the past as well. They could do full feature length screenings with convention panels with hours this long like that they have an upcoming slate of films that they could present that we know paramount will in fact present along with screen five so we could get a trailer a teaser at this convention from screen five a new poster or something else we don't already get it in the months of this month june and july but what if they actually have so much confidence in this project that they are going to screen the entire film for those select few individuals that are present at this panel that's something that's possible. I feel like that's possible. And now I know they want to protect spoilers, all these other different types of things. I still think that it is, of course, a possibility that they could have this film screened at CinemaCon. That could be where a very little small amount of people who, of course, are attending this convention could get their first look at this, hopefully, amazing film that is doing justice to what Wes Craven has brought us in the past. Hopefully it is on par more so with the first two films than the last two we've gotten, even though I love all of these movies. Uh, it's, a, it's a possibility. I could see them debuting the entire full-length film at CinemaCon. I could see that happening. I could see that happening. But if it doesn't, maybe this should be the place that we should be expecting our first teaser trailer or full-fledged trailer. And again, maybe a new poster even or official poster. So... Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited that production is finally wrapped? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.